Hey guys, it's Rene. So today I wanted to give this a try. This fondant from this brand. This is what the box looks like. It's kind of heavy. And this is what the back looks like. So you can like get instructions, tips and tricks and things that you can do with this. This is the sugar that it has. So it has a lot of sugar. So basically, if you're on a diet, just stay away from it. The box itself looks a bit like gross is because I bought it months ago and I didn't want to open it until now because I felt intimidated sort of by it because I've heard that fondant is like tricky to work with and it dries really fast but I figured nothing really happens you know it's just a thing it's going to be hard to tell the flavor of it and kind of like you know the consistency but I'm going to try my best to explain I'm gonna head and open this box finally after months kind of like scared to do this to be honest well, this is what you get. It's got some air on it. And you can see the deflection on my tripod there. So the consistency of this right now, I think, I guess, I hope, it's going to be easy to work with. We'll see. It also comes with this instructions thing. That's it. Let's you know about the coloring, about camera cake, like giving you instructions. I am so scared to open this. I feel like this is going to dry in like two seconds. But I have the Ziploc bag and then I have the uh, plastic wrap. I wash my hands, have some tape here, my scissors, I'm ready to go. I'm going to, I'm going to show you how it looks like when you open this. I'm going to remove a small part of this. Okay, it smells like sugar, vanilla. I'm going to just close this thing by just doing this and then just. Okay, make sure you cover the whole thing like that. Most likely, I'm just going to add some clean pack like all around this thing. Put it back here. I'm going to close it. It doesn't come with a thing that you can put this in there. So it's open. I don't want it. And I'm just going to be taking some double sided tape. Yeah, I'm just going to be sealing this. So I don't have to worry about my like fondant getting super dry when I'm not using it. To be honest, it feels like super soft, super, super soft. I'm gonna give this a try to see how it tastes. Oh, it doesn't taste that bad, actually. I mean, it tastes like sweet, but I was waiting for this like sticking and sweet taste. It's actually good. Not to take this whole thing like at once like a cookie, but it's not that bad. This is this brand. This is a purple one. I'm going to color it. And see what happens my hands are going to get purple I mean it's uh, sticky but it's not hard to work with it feels stickier than uh, play-doh it doesn't feel like clay but it's working guys I am surprised I like it the consistency is nice to work with I mean this is the first time that I try some fondant from, from a box so I'm just going to wash my hands and I'll be back so it definitely stained my hands. This is why you should wear gloves when you're coloring your fondant. So I'm just going to take a small piece of wax paper and I'm just going to roll it to see what happens. Consistency, I'm loving it. Pretty easy to work with. The taste is not that bad. A lot of people were telling me it's like super sweet. You're gonna be sick. <laughs> and it's not that bad. And I have a bunch of cookie cutters. We're gonna use the butterfly one. So. Yay! We made our first fondant shape. Yeah, I'm just going to be doing this again. Just simple shapes. I'm not doing anything crazy. Just want to show you the time it gets to dry and how it feels like to work with. I've only been working with uh, realizing for the past like years. I want to, I guess, expand my horizons. I'm happy that I like fondant because there's a bunch of things that I wanted to do as far as the creating things go, but I didn't because uh, with uh, realizing it's good, but you have a lot of limitations because you can't have a lot of like 3D shapes that I wanted to go for. And with fun that I feel like you can. This is fun. So yeah, you can expect a lot of like cupcakes with fondant. So I love fondant now. <laughs> Most people that I know don't love the flavor of fondant because they say it's like super sweet. But if you make small decorations, you know, with fondant on the cupcake, it's going to look really cute. It's not going to be like sickly sweet, you know what I mean? So I have this leftover. What I'm going to do is save it for me later in this like clean pack thing. I'm going to really save this like this so no air comes here. Then I'm going to use my Ziploc bag put it inside, I can just reduce this one. Try to remove 
all air as much as I can and just seal it with like airtight container. And yeah, I'm just going to be taking my DIY tool that I made on my channel. I'm going to add some texture. A lot of people say that you should like roll your fondant with confection sugar and this is what it says in like Wilton's website but I heard that it's like super sweet so they say that when your fondant is getting like, sticky to roll it with some cornstarch it's like when you are making cookies you roll your cookie dough with some flour I didn't go for it right now because I don't have it and I was using my wax paper after I done this I'm just going to go ahead and take this leaf cookie cutter and I'm just going to let this dry for some texture in here guys I'm just experimenting with how you can do with fondant doesn't look like a butterfly anymore but I'm just having fun with it so it's been two hours since I made this whole thing and they're pretty much ready to go they're dry all of them and this is pretty cool to me because it's realizing and you have to wait uh, like overnight for the whole thing to be ready to use if you have some uh, decorating to do with fondant and you have like two or three hours you're fine you're good to go as far as for this one goes this is pretty much ready to go if i wanted to make another shape of this color i could use this this is like soft if you want it lighter though just add less food coloring and then you're just going to work it doing the same thing you keep on mixing like this so you don't need gel food coloring by the Wilton brand as you can see this brand will do too so if you want a lighter color just add less food coloring if you want a more opaque shapes just keep on adding and I just wanted to see if it hardened it's hardened as you can see it's like crackled but if I keep on working it with the uh, heat of my fingers this is going to get soft again. Don't get freaked out because of the layer on top. This is how the butterfly dried. But I'm really curious about this one, the leftovers. This one I can feel it's a bit harder. But it's not it's not like this. As you can see, it's starting to just be all crackled. I'm going to just work it with my hands to see if I can make it fresh. It seems like it's working guys. But I'm guessing if you color your fondant a week before or I don't know, four days before, you can work with it. And if I wanted to make a figure of it, I could. The key here is just to seal it with the clean pack and then with the airtight Ziploc bag. I don't know what happens if you uh, color this like for a month or longer than that. I'm going to do that with this one and I'm just going to let you know in like the comments below so you can know what happens. I just find it pretty cool that after a week, maybe less than that, but you know what I mean, um, it's good to go. So yeah, if you like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, helps a lot, don't forget to subscribe and yeah, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you later and take care. Bye guys! So are we ready for this? We are. Okay, let's do this. Whoa! But in some place it hit. But in some... Oh god, I'm, I can't speak today. Oh, you look at this. This is so cute. I'm gonna use this one. Where's the H and where's the I? Is this a joke? Here's the I.